Your Invisible Power by Genevieve Berend. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Chapter Thirteen: The Reward of Increased Faith. Because you have expanded your faith into the faith and laws of the universe that know no failure, your faith in the best of yourself, the principle of life in you, has brought you into conscious realization that you are not a victim of the universe, but a part of it. Consequently, there is that within yourself which is able to make conscious contact with the universal principle of law and power, and enables you to press all the particular laws of nature, whether visible or invisible, into serving your particular demand or desire, and thereby you find yourself master, not a slave, of any situation. Troward tells us that this mastering is to be accomplished by knowledge, and the only knowledge which will afford this purpose in all its measureless immensity, is the knowledge of the personal element in universal spirit, and its reciprocity to our own personality. In other words, the words you think, the personality you feel yourself to be, are all reproductions in miniature or specialized God or universal spirit. All your word thoughts were God word forms before they were yours. The words you use are the instruments, channels, through which the creative energy takes shape, Naturally, this sensitive creative power can only reproduce in accordance with the instrument through which it passes. All disappointments and failures are the result of endeavouring to think one thing and produce another. This is just as impossible as it would be for an electric fan to be used for lighting purposes or for water to flow through a crooked pipe in a straight line. The water must take the shape of the pipe through which it flows. Even more truly, this sensitive, invisible, fluent substance must reproduce outwardly the shape of the thought word through which it passes. This is the law of its nature. Therefore, it logically follows, as a man thinketh, so is he. Hence, when your thought, or word form, is in correspondence with the eternal constructive and forward movement of the universal law, then your mind is the mirror in which the infinite power and intelligence of the universe sees itself reproduced and your individual life becomes one of harmony. End of chapter 13